Lavrov announced Russia's new invasion plans in Ukraine. Russia has information that French instructors, along with other representatives of military and special services of European countries, are working in Ukraine, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said. Now Poland, the Baltic states, the Czech Republic, Bulgaria recently under the current leadership, these guys are setting the tone, and already the Europeans have to adapt somehow. Take French President Emmanuel Macron with his nervous statements about sending French soldiers to Ukraine. Then someone explains that he was misunderstood. And he himself says again, no, I was understood correctly. He said in an interview with the radio station Sputnik, Govorit, Moskva, Komsomolskaya, Pravda. At the same time, the top diplomat pointed out that there is information that not only French mercenaries, but also instructors, may be even together, but along with some other representatives of military and special services of European countries are working in Ukraine. Our line, in this regard, is very simple and very clear. They did not want to negotiate in a fair way. We offered a treaty on European security in 2008 and 2009. Lavrov concluded. He said that Russia will not announce pauses in fighting if new talks on Ukraine begin. We have said that we are ready for talks, but contrary to the Istanbul story, we will not announce any pauses in fighting for the duration of talks. The process must continue, he said. Lavrov emphasized that the situation on the ground had changed significantly. These realities need to be taken into account. When I say realities, I mean not only the line of engagement and military positions, but also the amendments to our constitution that concern our four new regions, which are our primordial lands. This should be clear to everyone, he added. It's perfectly clear that they don't understand it, nor are they prepared to search for any potential compromises. It's only the Zelensky formula for them with no alternatives, Lavrov concluded. Answering a question from journalists regarding Kharkov, Lavrov said that this city would play an important role in the creation of a demilitarized zone, which the Russian president had previously spoken about. To the next question about what needs to be done if the armed forces of Ukraine start shelling Kharkov, the head of the foreign ministry said that the special operation will need to be continued further. Thus, we can conclude that ours are not going to stop at the liberation of four Russian regions. Russian air defense increasingly shoots down its aircraft in Crimea. Russian occupiers increasingly began to shoot down their own aircraft over the temporarily occupied Crimea. The reason for the increased frequency of friendly fire from Russian air defense was the growing tension due to constant attacks by Ukraine on Russian military targets on the peninsula. Fearing explosions, the Russian command ordered air defense crew commanders to respond to any threats, despite the fact that the Russian friend-foe recognition system has problems. This was stated in the military movement of Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars, Atesh, writes Obozrevatel media outlet. Agents of the Atesh movement report that tension is growing among the occupiers in the Crimea due to constant missile attacks and UAV raids that threaten military installations. The top military leadership ordered air defense crew commanders to shoot down threats despite problems with the friend or foe target detection and recognition system. However, faced with constant missile attacks and UAV raids, commanders of air defense crews are forced to carry out target designation virtually in manual mode. Thanks to this, strikes often occur against their own air targets, the report noted. Thus, the 12th Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment of the 31st Air Defense Division of the Russian Federation especially distinguished itself in this direction. Over the past few weeks, it shot down two military aircraft of the Russian occupiers. Recent Ukrainian strikes have increased pressure on Russian air defense systems and may be leading to Russian forces shooting down their own planes, the UK Ministry of Defense said earlier. It is noted an incident on March the 28th where a Crimean telegram channel reported that a Russian Sukhoi Su-27 jet had crashed over occupied Crimea after being shot down by its own forces. 
The UK Ministry of Defence added that the downing of the Su-27 and other similar events, if confirmed, likely highlights the lack of situational awareness and coordination among some Russian forces, while also highlighting the second-order impact of Ukrainian strikes.